Welcome back to the Thermo Fisher Scientific Junior Innovators Challenge application walkthrough. Now we'll take a look at part one, registration. Part one asks some basic information about you, your school, and your science fair. There are a few things I want to point out. First, this is a two-page section. When you're finished with everything on the first page, scroll to the bottom and click Next. You won't be able to proceed until you've properly entered in each required field on this page of the task. It asks you about yourself, so your name and your contact information. We ask for two different email addresses. One is to contact you during this application cycle, but we also ask for a long-term one so we can contact you about alumni opportunities in the future. We also ask for your name for public materials. This is important because if you are selected in the top 300 junior innovators or top 30 finalists, we'll display your name in things like our website, the finalist book, and press releases. So we want to make sure we're using the name that you want to be public facing. There are some questions like the one asking what languages you speak, that if you select yes, it will ask you more questions. You'll see these additional questions pop up, but if you select no, you won't be asked anything else. We ask about your alumni status and then your parent guardian information. The parent or guardian whose email address you enter here will be copied on any emails we send to you through SurveyMonkey Apply. So we've gone through and entered everything on the first page, and now we're on the second page. There are a few ways you can check your progress of this task. You can see the circle at the top is only half filled. And then there's a progress bar that says 50% complete. Once you finish this page, it should show you 100%, and we'll show you how to make sure you mark the task as complete. We want you to list your middle school science or research teacher or it could be an informal program educator or your homeschooling instructor, but it's important you list the teacher associated with your middle school here. This person receives awards if you advance in the competition. We also ask if you're related to this teacher, but that won't be used in evaluation. Then we ask if the teacher you listed above is who supported you most in your project this year. We know some students work with other mentors, so if this is the case, select no, and you'll be prompted to enter in your project mentor's information. This should be the person who most supported you with your project this year, other than a parent or guardian. We will notify them if you advance in the competition. We then ask for your middle school principal information. This should be the principal at your current middle school. For your science fair and project information, let us know if you were nominated by a second fair. This could be the case if you were nominated by your local and your state fair. Tell us if this was a team project. Remember that each member of a team must enter their own application in their own words. If it was a team project, fill out your team members' names in this section. If you need to go back and make a change to the first page of a section, scroll to the bottom and hit Previous. This will take you back to the first page to make edits. When you are done with both, both sections, you must hit Mark as Complete. You'll see the circle fill in completely and you can still go back to make changes. Click the three dots in the upper right-hand corner and select Edit. This will allow you to make changes. Just make sure you hit Mark is Complete again when you are finished. The Reset button will completely wipe out your answers, so we don't recommend using this unless you really need to start completely over. When you are done with one section, you can navigate to the next section by clicking it from the column on the left. Thanks for joining us.
make sure to check out the next video on part two student experience.